Mathematicians, in this lesson, you will learn how to multiply a whole number by a fraction by thinking about fraction whole number multiplication as the repeated addition of a fractional part. You already know that multiplication is really just repeated addition or adding the same number over and over again. For example, 4 6 is really saying 4 groups of 6, or 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, 6 added 4 times, which gives me 24. The same is true for multiplication of a fraction. Let me show you. 4 times 1 eighth, where 4 times 6 meant 4 groups of 6, 4 times 1 eighth really means 4 groups of 1 eighth, or 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth, 1 eighth. Four times. I know that when I add fractions, my denominator doesn't change because I'm just counting more pieces of the same whole, so 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth is just 4 eighths because I have four pieces of 1 eighth size. I can look at a picture and say I have 1 eighth and 1 eighth and 1 eighth and 1 eighth. Each of my four 1 eighths, I have a piece that is 4 eighths in size. Therefore, 4 times 1 eighth is equal to 4 eighths because 4 groups of 1 eighth size pieces gives me a 4 eighth size piece. Let's try this in a problem. Mr. Good gave 1 third of a cupcake to 8 of his students. How many cupcakes did Mr. Good give out? I know this is a multiplication problem because the problem asks me what 8 groups of 1 third is, and I know that multiplication is the repeated addition of a group of the same size. 8 groups of 1 third is the multiplication problem 8 times 1 third, and because I know that multiplication is repeated addition, I can think about this as counting 1 third 8 times. 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. When I add this all up, I see that 8 times 1 third is equal to 8 thirds. Remember, this is true because I'm adding a one-third size piece eight times. Let's look at it in a picture. One-third, two, three pieces, four, five, six, seven, eight one-third size pieces gives me eight-thirds. This means that Mr. Good gave out eight-thirds cupcakes. You might have noticed, though, that this is an improper fraction. And since it's hard to tell exactly how many cupcakes eight-thirds is, I want to turn this into a mixed number. One way I can do this is to divide, since fractions are connected to division. 8 divided by 3 gives me 2 with 2 pieces left over. Since each cupcake was cut into 3 pieces, this means that Mr. Good gave out 2 whole cupcakes and 2 out of 3 pieces of a third cupcake, or 2 and 2 thirds cupcakes. Let's try one more just to make sure we've got it. A cookie recipe calls for 3 fourths cup of sugar. How much sugar should I use if I want to make five batches? Again, this is a multiplication problem because it's asking me the value of five groups of three-fourths, or five times three-fourths. I know that multiplication is really repeated addition, so I can think about this problem as three-fourths five times, or three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. When I add my fractions, I will add 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 to get 15 pieces I want to count, but the 4 in my denominator stays the same because there are still 4 pieces in the whole. Therefore, 5 groups of 3 fourths, or 5 times 3 fourths, is equal to 15 fourths. I need 15 fourths cup of sugar for 5 recipes. Again, I'm going to turn this into a mixed number so it makes more sense, so I'm going to divide 15 divided by 4. When I do this, I get 3 whole cups with a remainder of 3 pieces left over. Remember that my cup was split into 4 pieces, so this is 3 cups with 3 pieces out of 4 to make a cup, or 3 and 3 fourths cups of sugar. To make 5 batches of cookies, where each batch calls for 3 fourths cup of sugar, I need a total of 3 and 3 fourths cups of sugar. You just learned how to multiply a whole number by a fraction. You did this by thinking about fraction whole number multiplication as the repeated addition of a fractional part. 